2023 Toyota Prius Limited First Test, a sensible choice with some trade-offs. Pros 1. Impressive driving experience 2. Stylish exterior design 3. Reasonably priced Cons 1. Interior noise levels still an issue 2. Limited rear seat space 3. Reduced cargo capacity when evaluating the 2023 Toyota Prius Limited, it becomes clear that some aspects of its value go beyond its price tag. This unique model offers a combination of advantages and trade-offs that make it a distinct choice in the lineup. What sets the Limited apart? For those who appreciate added convenience features, the Limited trim proves to be an excellent value, priced just around $3,500 higher than the mid-grade XLE. It's possible to equip an XLE with some of the limited standard features like the 12.3-inch infotainment screen, panoramic sunroof, and phone as key for an extra $2,010. However, the Limited also comes with exclusive amenities such as heated and cooled front seats. XLE only offers heated seats, driver seat memory, unique to the Limited, a power tailgate, other models have manual tailgates and an upgraded 8-speaker JBL sound system with a subwoofer, an improvement over the 6-speaker system and other trims. When you add it all up, the Limited offers over $1,500 worth of additional equipment. Opting for the Limited opens the door to even more useful features if desired. It's the sole Prius trim to offer extras like 360-degree exterior cameras, heated rear outboard seats, a digital rearview mirror, and hands-free parking. While these options do come at an extra cost, the lower trims don't offer them at all, so there's no money-saving alternative. Surprisingly, bundling all these options together costs just $1,635, resulting in a fully loaded Prius Limited with a more extensive set of features and a $495 optional paint job for just about $4,400 more than a fully loaded XLE. While it's not free, it's a competitive deal, and the Limited remains priced under $38,000. Beyond money matters. The additional features do increase the curb weight slightly. The Limited tested here weighed 82 pounds more than an XLE tested earlier in the year. However, this weight difference doesn't affect fuel efficiency. Both trims are EPA rated at an impressive 52-52-52 MPG city slash highway slash combined. The notable difference in performance between the two trims is attributed to the tires. Both come with 19-inch wheels, but the XLE is equipped with a grippier Michelin Primacy tire, while the Limited features the Toyo Extensa AS2. Even though they share the same size and ratings, the variation is likely due to differences in rubber compounds and tread patterns. Consequently, the Limited takes 0.3 seconds longer to reach 60 miles per hour from a standstill clocking in at 7.5 seconds. While a 0.3 second difference may not be discernible in everyday driving, it's more noticeable when trying to overtake slower vehicles on the highway. With the Limited taking 0.3 seconds longer to accelerate from 45 miles per hour to 65 miles per hour compared to the XLE, the most significant performance distinction is apparent in braking. The Limited requires 132 feet to come to a stop from 60 miles per hour, which is 9 feet more than the XLE. This equates to more than half a car length and could be the difference between a close call and a fender bender. It's advisable to maintain extra following distance to safeguard your investment. The handling characteristics also diverge, with the XLE offering superior grip and achieving 0.88 average lateral G on the skip pad compared to the Limited 0.82. Additionally, the XLE is quicker in our figure 8 test, completing it in 26.8 seconds at 0.65 average G, while the Limited requires 27.5 seconds at 0.61 average G. The car itself. As previously mentioned, the 2023 Prius has evolved into an enjoyable car to drive, combining driver engagement with excellent fuel efficiency. While the Limited may feature less grippy tires at the limit, Aside from emergency braking, the difference is not likely to be noticeable, even during spirited driving. You won't find a noticeable difference in interior noise between the two trim levels. Toyota's choice of different tires for each trim level doesn't seem to have been aimed at reducing noise. Even the most expensive Prius still tends to be somewhat noisy inside, 
with tires transmitting road imperfections and the engine being a primary source of noise when you accelerate. Wind noise around the windshield becomes more apparent at highway speeds. For those willing to trade off a bit of weight and possibly some fuel efficiency, the top-shelf Prius could benefit from enhanced sound insulation. Alternatively, consider investing in the plug-in hybrid Prius Prime if your budget allows. Its 44 miles of all-electric range can spare you from enduring the engine noise during most, if not all, of your commute. However, one difference you will notice is in passenger and cargo space. The significant improvements in exterior styling have come at the expense of rear seat headroom and cargo capacity. The previous Prius was known for its roominess in the rear, but the new one might feel cramped for taller passengers. The new Limited and XLE models also offer 7.1 fewer cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats. The base LE loses 3.6 cubic feet compared to the old model. The generous rear seat and cargo area were major selling points of older Priuses, and this reduction is likely to disappoint loyal customers, regardless of the car's improved aesthetics. If you're taller or shorter than the average height, you might have some reservations about the spaceship-inspired steering wheel and instrument cluster. Although it looks stylish, editors both above and below the average height had difficulty finding a comfortable seating and steering wheel position that allowed for clear visibility of the high-mounted digital instrument cluster, which is further hindered by a small font. On the positive side, we all appreciated Toyota's continued use of physical buttons and switches on the steering wheel and dashboard, as well as the significantly improved infotainment system software. Considering that the Prius Limited isn't substantially pricier than the average new car, as of this writing, the average new car sells for around $49,000. We recommend investing in the 360-degree camera system and even the digital rearview mirror. The sleek roofline that contributes to the reduction in rear seat headroom and cargo space also makes it challenging to see behind the new Prius, and these additional screens can greatly assist in addressing that issue. In conclusion, an advisable strategy might be to switch out the Limited's tires with those of the XLE when the former were out. This way, you can enjoy the best of both worlds without having to spend much more than what a loaded XLE would cost. With the range of standard and optional features available on the Limited, it's an easy decision to justify. Nevertheless, even if you opt for a different trim, you're still getting the most attractive, best-performing, and most fuel-efficient Prius to date, making it a winning choice. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.